Good morning and welcome to another COVID-19 recovery update. Let's have a look. Hello everyone. Grab your piping hot morning stein of coffee and let's have a look at today's recovery figures for Australia and New Zealand. I want to try and put, well, my goal is to bring attention to these numbers to at least start the day with some positive news. Don't worry, regulars, I'll get your doom and news <laughs> coming afterwards. I know some people were happy, but I think it's important, particularly with the mental health issues that are happening at the world at the moment. So yesterday we had the Australian cases at 14,086 recovered. In New Zealand, it was 1,531. People are going, why are you adding New Zealand? Because New Zealand is our neighbor, and I've got a fair number of New Zealand viewers. And frankly, I'm interested because, you know, Australia and New Zealand are very close. And there's a lot of stick between Australians and New Zealanders. And there's a lot of Kiwis living over here and a lot of Australians going over there. You know, I, I'm one suburb away down at Logan. There's a huge Kiwi population down there, guys. Well, actually everywhere, to be honest. So let's have a look at now the global recovery for Australia. And that's gone up to 14,000, 14,927. So that's a good sign. And we'll jump over and we'll look at New Zealand. And that is at, I want to see active cases because that has recovery, is at 1,531. So they haven't had any recoveries since yesterday, which is a bit of a shame, which is a bit of a shame. But that's not surprising considering it takes a few weeks for this illness to run its course. So now we'll click on each state. We'll start off with Victoria, and our recovery is 9,413. So 9,413. So that, yesterday, it was at 9,023. So that's nearly 400 people have recovered. 390 people have recovered in one day. That's more than all the deaths in the entire state. Why doesn't that make the headlines? 390 recovered today. We'll look at... Oh, ACT has no active cases. So I need to look at their recovery rate, case fatality rate. There we go. Well, they've got they've got no recovery rate. So ACT ACT is sitting at the same. We'll skip over them. We'll look at New South Wales is now two thousand nine hundred and ninety four, which is the same as yesterday. So there's been no recoveries in that, but they don't have that many active cases, do they? So I'll just, I'm doing my mad Excel skills here, guys. You know, as architects, we don't really learn much Excel. Then we go to Queensland. We have 1,079 recovered, which is the same as yesterday, which is the same as yesterday. We'll zoom out to Darwin, and I don't think there's going to be any change there. It's 31. It's still the same because we've got two active cases. We'll go to Perth, and it's at 633, same as the day before. Tasmania, how are the Tasmanians going? 216, which again, hasn't changed. How did I get that? Well, ACT, they're, they've got, what are they sitting at? They're, it's going to stay the same. Their active cases are zero. The incident rates are that. So their recovery will be at 110 again. So we jump through to here, and I'm just let me just format this here to make it look nice. I know I can change this all later, but you know these are the early days of me doing these daily updates. So you got to put up with my excelling. So we can see here, Victoria had the biggest jump nearly 300 more so over the day we've had 841 people recover today that doesn't seem right where am i getting that number am i getting that sum no we haven't there we go 390 have recovered in one day and to put that in perspective, that's more than the entire number of people, our global deaths in Australia, of 438 people. So that's a good figure. Now we'll look at the total recovered for Australia and New Zealand. Equals uh, this and this. We're looking at 16,007. 
16,007. And let's, this is the total number recovered. The total number of cases in Australia, and I'll start recording that as well, is 23,773. And the total number of cases in New Zealand, what is it? It's not that high. 1,643. 1,643. So let's do something very simple. Let's look at the number of people the number of people that have recovered just as a simple percentage and I'll need to look at the, you know, this is all well oiled machine 61 percent everyone have recovered in Australia that have gotten this and in New Zealand ninety three percent so Victoria are uh, well they're pulling us over everyone they're pulling us over and in our region the total cases sixty two per cent have recovered but remember remember the daily recovery the, the delta change in recovery for Victoria is three hundred and ninety people everyone three hundred and ninety people and all the people that have died here in Australia are four hundred and thirty eight let's look at the incident rate in Victoria it's sitting at 260 per 100,000 people we can see here this is the daily cases it, it's shot up and it's coming back down we're seeing the lockdown I, you know, I always cover that with me I need to move move my photo picture over for when I do these things you see the daily cases shoot up come back down so that's the lockdown now there have been a few people that have been discussing well other health issues that have been happening in Victoria and other states. Some of them are due with people people um, feeling hopeless and, and taking their lives. Now, those statistics, they don't come out until a few years later. I try to look for them. And the idea is you don't want it flooding the media. You don't want it flooding the media because then people will, they may use it as justification. Oh, 3,000 other people have taken this route. I may as well. So this is why if, if you're doing okay, reach out to people. If you if you're contemplating, if you're having having these ideations, you need to get help. Things can always get better. I mean, look at these numbers. Look how many people are recovering in one day. Nearly as many that have that have passed to this entire thing. More, many more people are recovering. Many more people are healthy. So that's that's something we need to remind ourselves of, and it's something that the media really just, you know, you know that media that wants to get all this special treatment from Google that has a code of ethics. They should be reporting on these cases, on the successful, on people getting cured, on people recovering. Well, what do you all think, everyone? That's today's update. Razor Stein, congrats to those 390 people that have gotten over it. Let us know in the comments if you have had this illness and, and if you've gotten over it. Let's hope this updates and I haven't lost everything. There we go. This is the problem of doing it in an embedded thing in one note. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Have a great day and I will see you all in the next episode. Oh, if, if you want to support the channel, there are a few ways you can. You can join the channel on YouTube or Patreon. Use our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve or KuCoin. Buy a merch from Heiser Says. Use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint or support us via PayPal. And this data, I should have mentioned, is coming from Johns Hopkins University. Uh, John's, not John's, not John, John's. Thank you for correcting me, but I'll definitely stuff it up again. And I will link to this in the pinned comment down below. Take care. I'll see you all next time.